What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got a set of brand new Cydia tweaks I'd like to share with you guys. So in this collection, there's some really awesome ones that we've never even seen before, and I uh, just wanted to share those with you in this latest update video. Of course, these do require a jailbreak, and lucky for you guys, you can still jailbreak. So if you guys wanna go ahead and jailbreak iOS 8.4 on the latest firmware on either Mac or Windows, those links will be up there. If you still are undecided about why jailbreak, that'll be down there. So I've got some really cool ones in this video, and I'm excited to share them with you guys. Most of these are brand new. A couple of them are, uh, you know, older ones that have been updated to support 8.4, but we really haven't heard of them in forever. So I'm going to be showing you some of those as well. Now, if you guys want to get the full tweak list, you will need some sources down below in the description or right there. You will be able to get the link to my article where I'll have everything, the tweak list, the sources, the wallpaper I'm using, and some bonus tweaks in there. So uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started and check out some brand new iOS 8.4 Cydia tweaks. Now, here's a brand new one that's making the it's called Olympus and what it does is it replaces your entire control center and multitasking pane with this view right here. Now it's not just an app switcher view, you know, that is a really nice side of it is that you can see all of your windows instead of having to scroll through them infinitely just to see them. So you'll see all of your open apps right here. If you scroll all the way to the left over here, there's two other pages. For one, your music player is over here. So instead of using control center to adjust it down there, you'll have access to a full media player right here that's quickly closable just like this that so it is available right here and if you slide all the way you get a whole bunch of toggles over here so you have everything from your settings to LTE toggle pretty much just a full control you know an advanced control center with a lot of settings brightness is down here now I really like it because it works so well it's very fluid so if you actually slide up you can see that it works astonishingly well and you can slide it back down just like that so it completely replaces your control center and has really nice badges it's a lot of function to it really nice this is one of those big reasons that you should jailbreak for really cool replacement to your control center and app switcher view i mean you can customize the view of them and something i found that was really interesting uh to go ahead and adjust the size here all you guys need to do is go ahead and use your fingers to go ahead and drag and it'll resize all the pages accordingly so you can do it just like how it was you know if you enjoyed the other aspects of it you can keep it like this or you can minimize it, make it into a full application view like this. So really cool. And of course, just like usual, slide up and it'll go ahead and dismiss those. Really cool. I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out. Olympus, it's in the Cydia App Store. Now, while you guys are at Olympus, this is a tweak that goes great with it. It's brand new. It's called Watchdog Pro. So what Watchdog Pro allows you to do is basically enable true multitasking. And I'm not talking about switching between applications. This actually keeps the application that you select completely running in the background. So for example, I do have some Safari enabled, it is running in the background. What this tweak does is it keeps it fully running as if you were using it. So if I actually go into Safari, it'll show me that Safari is just as if I was using it. Nothing is refreshed. It stays exactly as how you left it. So when you leave the application, go do something else, even if it's in five, 10 minutes, the application will load in the exact same place. That is amazing because the way it is right now with iOS 8, in order to preserve precious RAM and battery life and all that, it cuts out. So every time you open this after a time, it'll reload the page and that can be annoying. So what this tweak does is it actually keeps applications running in the background as if you were using them. And you can go ahead and select applications that you would like uh, to keep in the foreground running. And there's three options here. One, you can prevent suspension. Uh, iOS 8 does. There's smart backgrounding. And here's a little description of what each selection does. So pretty much keep applications running. You know, stop the limit iOS 8 puts onto applications. Keep it from refreshing. It's really useful. So I would totally recommend it. It's for iOS 8. It goes great with Olympus. So here's a new one called Matsio, Masio. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Uh, anyways, what it does is it allows you to set gestures for many, many different things using Activator and your keyboard. So I've got two set right now. If I click P and hold it, let go, it'll bring down my notification menu. And it can be really quick. It could save you time doing things. And there's a lot you can do with it. So anywhere where you can access a keyboard, you can access this tweak. Let's say I want to make a new message. So just hold the M key and mine sets M. It'll bring up this quickly send a message and boom, you are done. This is fantastic. I mean, there are so many keyboard shortcuts you can put into it. Let me just show you a few of them. So this is the tweak right here, the configuration, you know, pretty much just add a new one. You want to title it first off of what it does. Let's say open camera, terrible spelling. Um, and I'll say C for camera, go ahead and create it. And it has to be a capital. So go ahead and respring and you do need to select it and go ahead and select the camera. So invoke shutter right there. So it won't automatically, you know, set it. You do need to 
reset it after changing the name and all. And so after adding that shortcut, it takes effect right away. You just need to respring the first time it asks you to. Now when I go into the keyboard and select C, you know, let go of it and boom, you're inside of the camera application. So it'll go ahead and do that, open the camera, take a picture for you guys. It's a really quick way to actually save you a lot of time. I could see this one in particular being useful. Say you're texting, something's going on in the background and you just really want to quickly take a picture. All you have to do is do this, boom, it takes a picture. And there are so many shortcuts in there, guys. It's not just limited to camera. There's a lot in here, so many settings here. So you can flip through these by yourself. Definitely check this out, guys. This can be really helpful. Now, next up, here's a tweak I was really impressed with. Uh, good job developer for an original idea. Now, this is very similar to a previous tweak. I'll get to that in just a second. But what this tweak basically does is it allows you to multitask. And in a multitask, more than just software side, it blends real life with using your phone. So let's say you're using your keyboard. This tweak takes place anywhere where you use your keyboard. It allows you to use your camera and keyboard at the same time. And here's how. So Ariki, basically, when you hold the space button, it activates the camera in your keyboard. So you can be using your keyboard doing your thing from whichever application you can access a keyboard from and be walking at the same time so you can see where you're going. So it's very unobtrusive. You can still do your thing on the keyboard while seeing where you're going. And I think that's really, really cool. Now there's one more setting. So if you hold the F key, it'll turn on the flash. So you can go ahead and uh, do this at night if you so wish to. And go ahead and hold it again and it'll deactivate it. This is ingenious, guys. I freaking love this. I mean, this is such an original idea. I haven't seen anything like it. Uh, there's some settings for it. You can change the active activation method. Pretty much that's it. Very simple. Ariki allows you to use the camera in the background of your keyboard application. Very, very good for multitasking, blending laziness and using your messaging or whichever application has a keyboard together. Absolutely fantastic. So definitely recommend this one. Now here's a pretty cool one. It's called blur board. It's a free little tweak and it basically allows you to add some nice themes to your keyboard. Now these themes are in effect of blurs or transparencies. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So basically with this tweak, it'll take the background from whatever you're looking at and inject it into the keyboard application. So as you can see, I have this nice rainbow filter going on in the background and uh, depending on whatever you're doing, it'll accept the background from many different things. So from dark areas, it'll be dark. From uh, little lighter ones, as you can see, it'll be a little bit different. So a little piece of warning with this, if you're gonna use the blurry one, it'll actually make the keyboard near invisible when you're using messaging applications. So there's a few settings you can play with in here. Now, personally, I like the dark blurred one. You do need to respring every single time and this doesn't work for everybody. For some reason, when you open this up, it doesn't work right away. So after you respring, set your settings, go ahead and disable and enable a few times, and then it will start working. So basically theme your keyboard background depending on your settings. Really cool. Now here's a couple Apple Music application tweaks. So first one is Gauss 2. And what it does is adds a new effect to the background of your music application. As you can see, everything is blue. It'll actually make it more transparent. So it'll give it a nice looking theme. It doesn't mess with this part at all. It's just the uh, basic application look. So there are a few settings for it. As you can see, basically for mine, it just changed everything to a light bluish color. And there are a few settings for it as well. So in here, you can go ahead and select customize. And there's a few settings. There's an ultra dark and you can get a preview for it right here. I personally like the light one. Uh, let's try control. So make it a little bit more colorful inside of the music application. Now, the other one I wanna show you is called the Heart Transplant, and it works with Apple Music. So if you're signed up for that, basically what it does is if you're listening to music over here, you find a song that you like, and you go ahead and heart it, it'll go ahead and transplant it into your actual music. So let's say, uh, here's where's a song I don't have. If I go ahead and like this song, remember, if I go into my music over here, it should appear near instantaneously. Remember, there it is, so it has appeared in your your music application. So super cool, basically transplant music from over here right into here just by liking it. And there are no settings for it, it just takes effect right away. You can go ahead and go back to the music whenever you want, super handy. All right, so here's one of my favorites. It's a complete lock screen replacement theme. It's just been updated for iOS 8.4 and it's called Convergence. So it's very functional, not only aesthetically pleasing, but also functional. So let me go ahead and walk you through some of the features. From here, you can go ahead and get in here and access some of your favorite. So it'll show you where the application was at, where you left it. If you go over here, pretty much your control center toggles over here, adjust your brightness, really quick way to go ahead and get in here, adjust those and uh, get back to your, whatever you're doing. This is what it's going to look like when you get a message. Very, very good looking. If you click on it, 
Wow, I mean, that looks really good. I like the theming. Basically, it looks very nice. You actually slide down from up here, you get a few widgets for a calendar, weather, uh, news, you can go ahead and adjust those in these settings. But basically, a very nice lock screen replacement. It works very well, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. To unlock, just slide this guy up, and there you go. So, uh, convergence, I definitely would recommend. Now, here's Iconomatic. It's just been updated for iOS 8.4, and if you guys notice, I do have a drop shadow on every single application. That's something that Apple took away a while ago since iOS 6. We haven't seen it. It's been more of a flat design. Well, Iconomatic brings back some depth to your icons. And as you can see, it does make sense on iOS 8. So let me go ahead and show you some of these settings. This is how I like mine, just the shadow. But there is a filter for applications from iOS 6 as well. And this is just one of the other settings. This is for the actual overlay. So it'll add a, a kind of a shadowy, glossy effect to the icons. I'm not a big fan of it. I do like the shadow, not the overlay. But pretty much make your device a little bit more classic with Iconomatic and it does look great with the shadows for me personally, would recommend. Now for the last tweak, here is Alm Palm. I think that's how you say it. Basically it gives you some more settings for taking screenshots. So when you take a screenshot, you can now save to the photo library, copy to clipboard, upload to imager, or share with someone. So really cool. Basically just give you some extra settings and it's absolutely free when taking a screenshot. It is kind of handy. So guys, there you go. That's the next top 10 city of tweaks. I actually really like these in particular. I really like the Olympus one which replaces your control center and app switcher. It's a very functional tweak, and I wish many more had the quality that this one does. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I know you guys do like these, so I'll keep them coming. There's always a lot of tweaks coming out recently, and I'm very happy about that. And iOS 8.4.1 is on the horizon. It's gonna destroy the jailbreak, everything that you love. And I just want you guys to know that it is coming very soon to avoid it when it does drop, because it will block the jailbreak, and you'll no longer be able to do any of these awesome Cydia tweaks. And of course, to stay tuned on all that info, be sure to be subscribed and for many more Cydia tweaks as well. Throw me a like if you did like this video. They're not the easiest to make. Uh, anyways, have a great day. Enjoy all these latest tweaks. Peace.